Correct head structure and expression are essential to the breed. The head should not appear heavy in proportion to the size of the dog. This dog's head is correct. The head is wedge-shaped with a slightly rounded crown as seen here. The muzzle and back skull are about equal in length and the muzzle blends smoothly with the skull. There is no apparent stop. Note the sufficient fill under the eyes. From the front, you can see that the width of the skull is about equal to the length and that there is a slight furrow between the eyes. The bony eyebrow ridges are only slightly developed. The expression is elegant, intelligent, and contemplative. What about this dog's head? The muzzle lacks sufficient depth. The noticeable stop seen here is not correct. Remember that the stop should not be apparent. This dog's head is correct. It is in proportion to the body, wedge-shaped with a slightly rounded crown, and the muzzle is about equal in length to the back skull. From the front, see how the cheeks are flat and that there is sufficient fill under the eyes. The eyes themselves are medium-sized, almond-shaped, and set slightly obliquely. They are a rich dark brown. The eyelids are close-fitting with dark rims. Eyelids which are round, triangular, loose, or small should be faulted. Nose and lips are black with the lips tight-fitting. There is a strong lower jaw. Missing pigmentation on lips, nose, or eye rims is faulty. The teeth should meet in either a scissors or level bite, although the scissors bite seen here is preferred. Overshot, undershot, or wry mouths are faulty. Receding lower central incisor teeth are not uncommon in this breed. Ears are small to medium in size and are V-shaped with rounded tips. They are set on at eye level and are normally carried low, flat, and close to the head. Another characteristic of the Great Pyrenees is the meeting of the hair of the upper and lower face, which forms a line from the outer corner of the eye to the base of the ear. This dog, in fact, presents a lovely head study from the side and from the front. Its typical expression is elegant, intelligent, and contemplative. This is created by the combination of proper head shape, eye color and shape, good pigmentation, and ear placement.